Hey everybody, it's Eric Freeland from Country House Realty bringing you my new exclusive in North Branch, New York. It's about four and a half miles from Calicoon. And let me give you a set, a bit of the setting here. Old garage there, these big hemlocks uh, for which I named the house. Uh, there's a old worker's cabin over there. See that? That was probably when this was a farmstead. There were two little rooms in there that um, would house workers. There's a really nice barn there. It looks like it's pretty well uh, beaten up, but actually you go inside and it's you see the old beautiful hand-hewn um, beams that are in place. So definitely something could be made of that. Um, I love an old barn structure. Uh, rocky chair, front porch, really sweet. Um, view out the front and a little bench there. I'm going to take you inside. Um, so this was, this is a 1923 Sears and Roebuck kit house. Uh, so, you know, these were pre-cut timbers. Everything was included. You would buy it from Sears and Roebuck. They would ship it up the train um, line there, probably to Calicoon. And then, um, you know, some carpenters would assemble this um, home. And there's several of these in the area, but I've always been attracted to them. I just find them, they're actually surprisingly well built, solid. The, the materials are excellent. You'll see the kind of, I don't know what kind of wood that is actually, but it's either a hardwood or a very hard softwood. Um, and they're just really nice spaces. Um, this uh, was added recently. This is a high efficiency uh, wood burning stove with that kind of cool black chalkboard. It's actually from an old schoolhouse that was repurposed. And, um, you know, just a nice space, you know, take out the Nordic track and you've got even more space. Uh, dining area, kitchen's brand new. Um, you know, great view out, out the, the back um, while you're dining. There's a little outhouse out there, the barn. Um, big peninsula, um, butcher block counters, all new cabinets, all new appliances, um, tile, everything's new here. Um, and you'll see in a second that bathroom is when I show you that there is, in fact, a basement, a full basement, um, very dry uh, foam insulation down there, foam insulation throughout the house, actually. So um, that with the new windows will make this a much more efficient home than they were back in the 20s. They weren't known for their great um, um, insulation uh, qualities. So this brand new steam shower, um, very high tech there. Um, close the door and kind of immerse yourself in a steam cloud. Uh, but this really nice vibe. I'm going to take you upstairs. So, two bedrooms, two full baths. Um, basically, you'll see, I'll show you upstairs. He took out one of the um, bedrooms to create this bigger primary. Again, all the wood, I just love the old wood how it's preserved and these are oak uh, stair treads here um, oh you know there's nice old doors handles so what he did is he blew out the ceiling here and and took out this other bedroom so it creates a really big space I don't know if you can really get a sense so the seating area large king-size bed um, closet over here, big closet. And over on the other side, there's even um, a little nook um, over here with like a little bench and, and um, shelves there. So kind of cute. Um, but again, like, you know, this great morning light just streams in here. Um, so it's really nice vibe there. Um, and this is the second bedroom. Again, big bed. I'm going to take you off a wide angle there so it doesn't distort. Um, and uh, yeah, really nice. You'll see there's a another big closet here. The upstairs bathroom. More classic has a clawfoot tub. Um, and I want to also show you has the washer dryer. And let me just, I uh, forgot to open the shade here. Give you a sense. Out there, you can see, well, you can't really see anything. Okay, forget that. The pond is back there. Let me see if I can get you down there real quick without 
losing your attention if you've lasted this long. I appreciate it. But it can't hurt to spin back through to get a sense of this. Kind of nice, nice um, adjacent areas here, but all very functional. And out this back door. Yeah, you see there's like a little pond. Um, it's really pretty right now, of course. Uh, the pictures you'll see, uh, you know, a week ago, these trees were just kind of insane. I mean, it's like almost an abstraction, Monet or something. Uh, but yeah, grew a little fire pit, fire that puppy up, outhouse, back of the home, and again, those lovely um, three hemlock trees towering. Um, very lovely in the morning sun. Thank you for sticking around. Again, it's Eric Freeland, Country House Realty. Come by, check out the listing on our site, countryhouserealty.com, and ping me if uh, you have any interests or questions. All right, thanks, bye.